This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from Metro Connect 2019 in beautiful Miami, Florida. And I'm here with Mr. Keith Olson. Keith is the CEO of V Exchange. Keith, welcome to JSA TV. Dean, welcome. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I look forward to enjoying our time together. Outstanding, as do I, Keith. Thank you very much. So, um, Keith, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about VExchange? Sure. Uh, VExchange is a relatively young co-location data center services company. Um, <clears throat> you know, we founded about just about five years ago. Um, the leadership team. Uh, all came out of the uh, switch in data, which had okay. a pretty robust you know, mm -hmm. footprint, 34 data centers across North America, uh, had a great run with it, and un ended up selling uh, all 34 data centers to Equinix a number of years ago. Uh, so I got the band back together, right? <laughs> we, we studied what we did really well, things we could improve upon, and we launched uh, V Exchange. I love it. So um, you talked about things you could improve upon, things that you could, you could do really well. Um, I assume that these things are differentiators. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what differentiators the exchange. So I would say that most of the differentiation is exactly what, v, uh, what Switch and Data did. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that we improved upon were things around infrastructure, size, scope, some enhanced capabilities, smarter infrastructures, but I'm telling you, we have very capable competitors. They're terrific. They're, most of them are much larger and been operating much longer than we have. Um, and so I always take my hat off to them. Uh, so, so I, abso uh, do, do, I absolutely love the fact that you're talking about this because it really is about this community, right? And, and, and about who's providing um, the, the best possible services for the customer. Oh. And it sounds like that's what you're doing. And, oh, that, and you're that, tipping your hats that, to the other folks too. That's what we're attempting to do. We try to do it every day. We have a maniacal focus on the customer, mm -hmm. right? And it's really a, a way of saying, how do we earn the right for their business, right? And so having great competitors forces you to really work really hard on behalf of the clients and you know, on behalf of all of the, the, yeah. the entire community. But the way I look at it is, is I could sit here and you know, recite all of our marketing prowess, right? That's really boring. Thank you. That's really boring. <laughs> so I, I really allow uh, the industry analysts to speak about us, mm -hmm. whether it be Frost and Sullivan, whether it be Gartner, whether it be um, 451, who have really done some terrific reviews on our capabilities, differentiations. I remember one particular that said, you know, VExchange has got some really interesting capabilities. They may be a little bit ahead of the time. I said, if that's the negative, I'll take that all day long. All day long. All that's day right. long. Yeah. Frost and Sullivan recognized us at the end of 2018 as the most innovative data center service provider in North America. Why do you suppose they said that? We're totally going off script by the now, by, by now. Why did they say that? You know, you'd have to ask them, but their report is terrific. I sent it out to a bunch of our customers. It was interesting, a few weeks ago, I sent uh, out to some of the CEOs out of our clients, and uh -huh. a couple hours later, Bill McDermott from SAP sent it back and said, Keith, this is terrific. They're one of our great customers. I'd rather have our customers speak to it. If anyone goes to our website, they'll see the accolades that we got. I think in 2018, we have these things called moments of truth. Right? That's where we actually have a conversation with the customer about how did we perform them. Yeah, yeah. How, how do we handle their you know, requests for services and things of that sort. Over 400 of those from customers. This sounds like a differentiator. Uh, well, they tell me it is. <laughs> they tell me it is. But whether it be FedEx, SAP, Akamai, small or large global operators, they go, they don't even say, well, you, you folks, you really provide a great service. Mm -hmm. It's not what they say. They say, you guys are best at this. Uh, we had a grand opening in our Philly data center, terrific, terrific site. Um, and we had a couple of folks, Comcast and SAP, do keynotes. And of uh -huh. course, they would never tell me what they were going to say. So I was a little nervous. I keep saying to Ernie, <laughs> who's our chief marketer, I said, Ernie, what are they going to say? Dan said, don't worry about it. I said, okay. Of course I worried. I'm glad I had no involvement. Dan gets up because I use 40 plus operators around the world in 60 installations. The exchange is the best in the world. They're frictionless. I don't think I could say anything better. <laughs> right? We have videos, Blackboard, B&H Photo, for those of you in Manhattan that know that terrific outlet and store. We're the e-commerce site. They have videos that talk about, you're not a vendor, you're a partner. That's Strive, that's what we do. I'd rather have them talk about our differentiation, not us. I love it, I love it. But let's talk about your, your partners, your, your customers, your, your, your targets. Uh, what do they look like? I've, you've, you've thrown out a lot of very big names. Um, but they range from small, emerging growth companies and technology type companies to global operators. So, so we address a myriad of needs. We don't do everything. We do certain things extremely well, and we're highly focused on building out uh, data centers in markets uh, that require you know, the support of many and a myriad of service providers. Mm -hmm. So if you think about the footprint that we built out, when we started uh, just about five years ago, we started with one site. 
We have 14 sites across North America right now, and we continue to build out. Um, so why do we do that? So when we built out Switch and Data, a lot of people would say to us, well, you're building out in these secondary markets. Many of those secondary markets are places like Atlanta, Toronto, and Seattle. Yeah. They're not secondary. Yeah. They're massive. Right. So understanding telegeography, understanding the value of any network-based application, and appreciating the fact that they have to reach eyeballs, eardrums through endpoints, mm -hmm. we started making investments in places like Portland and Austin and Raleigh Dorham and Minneapolis and Philly and Pittsburgh. Because what happens is each one of those metro areas have thousands of businesses mm -hmm. with 100 to 500 or plus employees, a rich marketplace for service providers. Service providers look to land on our sites and reach customers. The enterprises, they look to be able to connect to those services. So we create this ecosystem, this marketplace for the betterment of all services that we rely on on both our personal and professional lives. That's what we do. I love it. I'm sold, frankly. Um, but why I have I a contract here for you. <laughs> I believe you. Um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about what they might expect to hear from V Exchange in 2019? So, you know, <clears throat> we made some interesting acquisitions. We bought, you know, uh, we merged, we built, and we and we acquired some data centers. Right now, we're filling out those, you know, data centers. We've re-engineered, redesigned, and put in smart infrastructure. Why smart infrastructure? When you have really intelligent infrastructure, you can control the environmentals much better. You improve the optimization of, of things like power, cooling management. But more importantly now, it sets up the ability to build a business intelligent platform that our customers can kind of walk through our kitchen. Think of a restaurant yeah. analog. So you walk right through the kitchen, you know exactly how they're preparing it, you know exactly what's going on at any particular moment. This has freed up operational time, expense, reduced cycles for our clients, so that when they're running their business, they can count on the infrastructure, but they get all of the support capabilities through this platform called Insight. That's what many of the analysts have written about, about this particular platform, and our customers speak, you know, accolades like crazy. A couple of them, said, you know, you should spin this off as a separate company. You do this better than anyone. I'm blown away by those. It's the best marketing material we can have, is what our customers say. I, I, I believe every word that comes out of your mouth, Keith. Thank you very much. It's not even mine. Just go to the website. Their <laughs> names are up there. Their company names are there. You know, it's what, what's the web address? Um, www.vexchange.com. Thank you very much, Keith. We thank appreciate you very it. Thank appreciate it. You got it. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.